So it's about 20 minutes later and I noticed the solar tracker has moved about two inches to the left of the needle nose plier. So it did move a little and that's what I want. So the rice been in there for one and a half hours. I didn't preheat the solar oven. And the oven now is uh, 290 degrees. I'm gonna leave it in there for another half hour. I don't think it will overcook. So I have the rice in there for a little over two hours. Gonna take it out. Looks pretty much done. Try it. It's done. A little spicy. Not too bad. The bottom of this solar cooker is plastic and it's very easily scratched. In fact, this is all scratched up because I have it on concrete. So I'm going to put these little rubber furniture protectors. Maybe it will last. Well, actually, it won't affect the cooking but it's just I hate to have the bottom more scratched up so I'll put a few down it's usually the front here that makes the contact and the back has that leak there to uh, elevate it this is my other solar oven this is a do-it-yourself one I took it apart to see if I can make it better and I sharpened the angle so here to reach 300 degrees I thought I could make it better but actually the way it was work it worked just fine I regretted taking it apart because I don't think I can get that much better than 300 degrees because even with the sun oven I mostly get 300 degrees and on a good day I get 325 and um, for the people that get 350 or 400 I, I think they probably have it well tuned and maybe they live in an area that has better sun I guess